Okay, there are really only a few people and clubs that I've seen that are truly at the forefront of changing the face of rowing for the better, and I got a chance to meet a bunch of them when I went down to Waco, Texas. First, I'd like you to meet Matt, my friend who I coached with at my old high school. He moved down to Waco with his family and saw the Brazos River and just knew it had some seriously untapped potential. This is a windy day. So he dove right in and started rebuilding the Waco Rowing Center. The club, not like this particular building. He was so excited about it and wanted to show me immediately, so he flew me in right before I started my new job. We toured the city, met tons of people, he forced me to go to Magnolia Farms, and with the help of Mike Voglar from the Waco Sports Commission, we filmed a video to highlight the river and the lead up to the first ever Waco Rowing Regatta that fall. Let's do some shots in Waco. Let's go. This water is like untouched gold. So I'm out here on the Brazos, and welcome to Waco. As I rode up and down the river a bunch of times past Baylor's giant football stadium and through all the bridges, I was thriving. Obviously, we had to go early in the morning because of, you know, Texas in July and everything, but to get this river all to myself for a morning row and to have it filmed was incredible. It is very hot out here now. Man, this water, whew, that's not that love. All right, so I'm a lightweight. This is the only way I can fit in this boat is if we got to wait and put it in. What is that, 10 pounds? And out. So Matt really wanted me to come back down for the first ever Waco Rowing Regatta weekend where he helped set up a ton of incredible events for the community. So between my two Waco trips, I started a full-time job at my high school, did the entire Head of the Charles training series. And this is gonna be the start of 75 days of hard training before Head of the Charles. And I got COVID for the first time. That's incredibly positive. So I flew down to Austin, went for a row with my friends at the Texas Rowing Center where I joined in on Kevin and Kara's backing race. Oh yeah! Then Katie and I got a tour of the new Texas rowing facility from Gia and Rachel, and it was so sick. I got my own plaque. Yeah. You do have your own plaque. <laughs> and I, of course, had to introduce Katie to Bucky's. There's it? That's the whole thing. Holy shit. Welcome to Bucky's. Great. How good? So freaking good. I love Bucky's. Once we cleaned ourselves up, we headed to an event where a bunch of the Waco community saw a screening of Arshay Cooper's documentary, A Most Beautiful Thing. This was the first time I met Arshe, and he is one of the most genuine and deservingly influential people that I've met in the rowing community. I loved watching his doc with the big group, but the panel afterwards was the real treat. You had Arshe Cooper, Kevin Harris, John Capagna, Tracy Falkenthal, Brandon Johnson, and Akil Abdullah sat together talking about their experiences in the sport and the things they've been doing to pave the way for future generations. The event was eye-opening to the power and realities of this sport and I was incredibly grateful to be able to listen to them. I was. One of the really cool things about this Waco Rowing Center project is they're not only running a free to row program, but they're also providing free swim lessons to the entire community. That is so much more important than most would actually realize. When Matt showed Arshay just what he's been able to accomplish down in Waco, Arshay's foundation, a most beautiful thing inclusion fund, actually opened up an extra sponsorship slot just to help out Waco. Make some noise for Waco! How you guys doing? My name is Uriah Hall. I got invited out here uh, with Arshay Cooper, uh, one of my best friends. And I know from Arshay's story about working through a lot of adversity for him to be where he is right now, to connect people. And that's one of the things with rowing, you know, you get to connect people from different genres and any, everywhere, you know, just different races and stuff like that. When he called me to be a part of this to talk to the kids, I was more than honored and never really been in the water. It's always something I wanted to try. Hopefully one day I can get out there. Hopefully I can do something like this in the future. I'm Stephen Howard, former NBA player. Uh, ESPN college basketball analyst, leadership speaker here with Arshay um, and a beautiful thing, dedicating this for the Waco community, the Waco Rowing Regatta. And for me, this whole thing was an amazing experience and just glad to be a part of it. And 
you know, whatever I can do to support Arche and rowing and this beautiful rowing community, I'm here for it. If they can find one that fits me, I definitely would get out on one. All the rowers right now, um, please stand up. Let's show them some love, all the rowers. Uh, show your love for your Uriah Hall. First of all, I'm an immigrant from Jamaica. You know, I was picked on because I spoke differently and my Jamaican accent, blah, blah, blah. I wanted this reality show called Ultimate Fighter. And I was a runner up. You know, I had to fight one of my best friends on the show. And you, know, you guys are taking it up a new sport, rowing. I can't row to save my life. That's his sport. <laughs> So I am not a public speaker, I'm a much better coach than I am a public speaker. And one thing I just want to leave with you guys is figure out what you want and be willing to work for it. Totally agree with what, what Brandon was saying. I'm a big believer that rowing can change the world. It doesn't have to be fun to be fun. And then the last thing, I totally agree. The river here is awesome. Let's give it up for the kill of all. And then I'm going to the Olympics someday. Those faces that you see at the end of a end of a match, end of a regatta, that is joy. That is inspiration. But it came through struggle. Somebody in here, 2028 is coming up. We've got time for an Olympia to come out of wake up. There's only been the one woman of color that rode on American soil in the Olympics. There's been no men of color that rode on American soil in the Olympics. We hope that they come out of wake I am now giving back to the community with our shades help and teaching kids how to row, trying to rescue those kids that might be struggling like I was. I do everything I can to represent as a black female athlete rowing, and I'm also representing as one of the only black female coaches in the country. My very first race, I caught a massive crab where the, like my oar came, like just hit me in the face, and he was right behind me, and he was just like, hey man, it's gonna be all right. I have those people in my life that are behind me saying, hey, it's gonna be all right. What I wanna impress upon you guys is you have to figure out what your dream is going to be in your life because if you don't figure out what your dream is you're going to be helping somebody else achieve their dream i had 30 nba teams tell me that i was not good enough to play in the nba a guy named kobe right <laughs> no, you're, you're right a guy named kobe Fine. Come out here and play me one on one. And I said, let's get this. Kobe won the first game, I won the second. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you said that like, like you don't think I have any skill. But so he got the phone and he walked off and he looked at me and he goes, You were saved by the bell. Now I'll never get to play that third game because we all know Kobe passed, but it always impressed on me. You're not promised tomorrow. Now this is the fun part. This is the exciting part. You have these fast, new, sleek boats. Kevin Harris, thank you for all you have done for this sport. Dr. Shield, thank you so much for leading this effort and being an ally and bringing this wonderful sport and all of these people together. These boats are now yours. Let's go back. All right. Rarely am I speechless, but this is one of those times. This is just a tremendous opportunity for our students, the Greater Waco community. Waco Rowing Center, Mr. Swartzel, has been unbelievable. Thank you for making this happen. Can't wait. You know, I've been a rowing coach for roughly 30 years. I'm glad that Arche and the Most Beautiful Thing Fund could help here in Waco. I'm glad to be here with my brothers and sisters who have done so much in the sport. But more importantly, I'm just glad to see all of your faces because when I was you, this didn't exist. And so happy to see you all. And I hope that you will take these boats and go out on the Brazos and make us all proud every day. I stood in your shoes and I was by myself. You know, a program that didn't exist and I was the one kid from the one school that nobody wanted to row at. Now I'm friends with these guys. I have an Olympic medal. And now I see an entire community behind a sport that will change your life for the better, because it did mine. I wouldn't have this group of friends. We wouldn't have this opportunity to provide boats to people who are going to make this sport better. You are going to make this sport better. And I look forward to being very far off in the distance, watching you and supporting you and giving you whatever I can, whenever I can. So thank you. Last but not least, your coach, 
Matt, Coach Matt, let's give it up Coach Matt. Yeah. I, I got down here, I saw the water, I toured all the schools, I called Dan, you guys know that story. I got in touch with Arche, got in touch with Luke, got in touch with Dr. Shields, and I'm, I am so proud to have gotten to know so many of you. I'm so proud of your growth already, and you guys are gonna change wrong. We got this. All right, let's go eat. Thank you. Yeah, gotta love it. Yeah, for us to come down here, it's pretty good central point. A lot of us coming down from Dallas and Austin and Houston as well. It's just nice to think that Waco is finally somewhere we can come together toward the end of the season and have some pretty good racing. To everyone, like rowing's awesome. Keep up the good work. You know, rowing can change the world. But... Port. Lots of blades. Yeah. Starboard. There you go, buddy. That's the biggest bow number I've ever seen. The coolest bow numbers yet. Tired? Happy. Beautiful boat. Beautiful backdrop. I mean, what Let's else do you need? Love. What else do you need? Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Best Brigada I've ever been to. Without question. Love that. Well run, beautiful water, great athletes. Woo -hoo. Bye, Amen. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you for everything. You're welcome. Sorry Bye. Oh, hey. Bye, John. <laughs> Bye, Eamon. Bye. Keep making the videos. I'm trying. <laughs> Waco now has a pretty special place in my heart. I could feel the winds of change and met tons of people who are building those ships to ride it. And I think that if any of us are going to make any meaningful changes, it's going to take a lot of continuous effort, but it's entirely worth it. So thanks for watching. Nice. I'll catch you in the next one. That's fun. Right. Woo! Oh, baby. Uh, uh. <laughs>